welcome back to Tiny Kitchen. Sometimes when I do this, I have it like planned out and I know what I'm going to post and it's going to be amazing. And other times I'm like, mm, I'm going to make meatball subs because i got to figure out a way to use up stuff in my fridge. And then I'm like, Psh, I'm going to record this disaster. So I'm going to figure out a way to make a flatbread style for in, in a dish and then put the meatballs, sauce, and cheese on top to make meatball subs. I will be making it out of flaxseed because it's high in fat. And it's got very minimal ingredients, so I'm pretty stoked about this right now. Um, I have my little list, so if I'm looking down, that's why. And I will post the recipe below because that's the easiest way to share it with you guys. Also, I've started incorporating workout videos onto my channel because that's been highly requested. And I will post some of those links in the cards in this area. <laughs> I'm like overtired and overhyper and like... You wanna dance? You like my bangs? I'm like so digging the bangs and the messy bun. No makeup, cause I wasn't prepared for this. Uh, okay, I'm done talking, let's cook. I'm not gonna show you the dish because it's disturbingly dirty. It's like got stuff burnt on it. So we have one cup of flax and a quarter, so just a little bit much. And then two tisps of baking powder, hold on. I always say tisp because of the way they spell it, right? Like, right? That's one tisp. Making sure I'm doing the right thing. Baking powder. Not baking soda, y'all. This is potentially could be bad for me. I don't really know. I should probably look into that. But wait, ain't nobody got time for that? I'll be using my raw stevia that's not mixed with anything. And I have a little conversion chart here. So anytime you have sugar, um, this is the conversion. So like, take a screenshot of that, print it up. Like, that's how we do it. All right. So, if you use too much, it's frightening, and it can be, like, super bitter and gross. Just, again, throwing that out there. And this is going in there. So don't overdo it. And four tablespoons of olive oil, because I think this will taste really good because it's going to be a meatball sub. If it was going to be something sweet, like maybe a dough for cookies or something like that, I would use coconut oil. So I should probably do it way up here. Three, four. I should probably, like some people like blend it in like a mixer and I'm just like, pour it in, get go. Done. We always get uh, cage free eggs. Like they're brown like this, they're healthier. They have the much more health benefits. And eating a full fat egg is actually good for you. So people who like do like egg whites, Every, everybody's diet is different, so if you want to know more, you can message me. I'll put my email below. Um, I'm a health and fitness coach, so I try to help. I'm also trying to make this brief, but since it's like spur of the moment, I'm, I tend to ramble, and I'm really stinking excited to have a meatball sub for dinner tonight, so I used to go to Subway. That was like my jam, was the meatball sub at Subway, and I was like, Psh, I'm paying all this money for this when I can make like the same amount for, wait, no, I mean twice, four times, four times as much? I can't do math. <sighs> If this is really annoying, I apologize. Go check out my other videos. Anyways, so I just did two eggs. You can do a little bit more if you choose to. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to mix it up with a fork. And break the egg yolks. It also calls for one cup of water. I'm just going to kind of get this going because eggs are... I'm afraid to show you this dish. Do you see how burnt this is? Maybe I should... If I've committed, I should show you that there's stuff burnt to the bottom of this. I'm not really sure why. Anyways, just mixing it up because eggs uh, act like a glue or and they adhere the stuff. It's going to make this stick together better when I cut it up for bread. And you know what I'm saying, like to make it a flatbread. Because I, I wasn't a big fan of like two slices of bread on top of the meatball sub when I went to Subway. I would take off the huge thick chunk on like throw it out because I wanted to taste all the good stuff inside. Like I would, did not care about that other crap. But James has a love affair with bread, so I guess that's like a thing. Where did my cup go? I think I left it in the floods. Huh. I found it. I'm gonna get my filtered water. We use reverse osmosis, so there's no chlorine, fluoride, antidepressants, and pharmaceuticals in our water. Did you know that was in your tap water? I didn't, it scares me. Also, plastic is photodegradable, which means that if your plastic is in the sun, that plastics are leaching into the water. So I'm trying very slowly but surely to transition all of my plastic into either stainless steel, because aluminum also leaks into your water, and a glass container. So James got this big pot thing. I posted a picture of it on my Facebook. Uh, mixing it up. I think a cup of water might have been a little much, guys. A little much. 
I'm gonna add some spices to this, make like Italian bread. I like to use this, it's McCormick's Gourmet Organic or Italian, or Italian seasoning if I don't want to mix all of my other spices together because I'm being kind of lazy. And if you want to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top of this, that would be bomb. I don't have any because I eat it so much we're all out. And uh, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Himalayan pink salt, which in my opinion is the healthiest salt you can use instead of like the stuff with a little umbrella trick on it. Pretty much everything they get us is bad for us, but nobody takes it off the shelves because everybody's cheap. I'm definitely in a weird mood. <laughs> Anyways, this is kind of what it looks like. I'm going to go stick it in the oven. It was preheated to 425. Yeah, and it only needs to cook for 10 minutes. This is like the quickest meal ever. It's going to be a live thing. So I'm going to go away for 10 minutes and I'll be back. So taking this over here, a bit of salt. Ah, crash! Did you see how much heat? It made my bangs move. That was so awesome. Okay. So yeah, now we're just, I'm going to wait 10 minutes, probably go mess around on Facebook. I post a lot of stuff on my other social media. I try to reach as many people as possible because I want to share my journey with everybody. I went through years and years of anxiety, depression, panic attacks, um, a lot of physical health problems internally, such as things like IBS, constipation, those things. And I cured all of it without medication because the medications I kept putting on just made things worse. So I figured out how to use foods and exercise and the power of the mind and positivity to cure all of my ails and these videos are part of the way that I'm sharing with everybody how you can help yourself not to mention you get rid of cravings and you have nice abs yes no caffeine ever again so while that's cooking I just wanted to show you what I'm gonna use string cheese because I don't have any shredded mozzarella, but it is mozzarella cheese. And then these are already in a container, but they are the meatballs by Adele's from Costco. I love their mango jalapeno ones. They have mesquite wieners, but they avoid uh, artificial growth hormones. Uh, they avoid nitrates. There's, there's just a lot of stuff that's in our food that in reality is very, very bad for us. And as they're finding out about it, instead of taking it completely off the shelves, they're just giving us alternatives, which means that when you shop, it like requires you to like read labels. I find it super annoying, but due to the fact that I want to be happy more than anything else in the world and chemicals affect me in a very negative way, I find it to be worth it to label them so that I can enjoy my life. I just wish that we didn't have to have so much work and I, I think that there's a movement for healthier foods and that eventually these things that are going to hurt us aren't going to be on the shelves anymore. And if you, I'm not trying to scare anybody with my videos, I'm just trying to empower you so that you know and if eventually people stop buying it, you're the one in control. I'm in control. As individuals, we control the market and if you no longer choose to engage in those things, they're not making any money so they'll stop making it. But if you continue to buy those things, then, then you're you're not necessarily part of the problem. I understand money's an issue. Totally get that. But just saying that, like, you are in control. Oh, you are in control of what you put in your body. Nobody else can force you to eat that crap. You, you do you. Do whatever makes you feel good. Anyways, instead of doing a marinara sauce for this, I was gonna do organic tomato basil. Mmm. H E B's got a lot of great organic stuff, and I think it'll just. I like more flavor. I don't like bland things. I'm boring like that. So, anyways, I'm really hungry got like four minutes left. Ugh. All right guys, so I'm gonna go take this out of the oven. It already smells really good. Literally took a few minutes. I just kind of edited a little bit of the video, hung out with the dogs, got them their dinner. Uh, I read somewhere that if you feed your dogs when you feed yourself, it's like helps you remember and it helps them feel like they're part of a, um, of a not a tribe, pack. That's the word. Anyways, I thought that was kind of neat. So I've been doing that to help them. My dogs have been fighting a lot, so if you have any tips about that, I wouldn't I would love to know. Uh they're little chihuahuas. If you don't already Oh my gosh, adding those spices was like the best idea ever. Surprisingly it did raise a little bit. So it's it did like loaf a little. I'm actually going to put the ingredients on it right now because I like that the heat is going to cook what this so I don't have to cook it separately. I'm actually gonna go down. Let's do this. Because my dirty, dirty dish. So it just kind of, I'm going to mix. It's good to mix it a little bit so it's not too watery. Drizzle it on. Keep in mind, this is at 425, so that sizzling sound is a okay. Because I'm an overachiever, I'm going to throw some pepperoni on this too because that just sounds good to me. If I were to add chicken, I think it would be the chicken pizziola from Subway. 
if you are old school and you know what that sandwich is, please give this video a thumbs up because you just, you know the life. So, push, putting these on. I might stick it back in the oven for a few minutes just to kind of cook it through. We don't use microwaves too. I don't know if I've talked about that on the channel. It's kind of like... It, it just, the way that a microwave works is that it, it breaks down the molecules, especially water molecules, it can, and it can make things like veggies especially taste really bad because it breaks down the water molecules. So certain things like squash, I don't know, if you think about certain veggies that you've reheated and they taste super crappy, it's probably why. This is going to be like the longest video ever. Look, I took a bite out just to test it. Ha <laughs> ha. And then just going to open up some string cheese and call it good. I think that's enough cheese. I'm going to throw it in there for a couple of minutes. If you have shredded parmesan or, a, or, or mozzarella, either of those would be amazing on top of this. I'm going to just do it as is, add no extra spices, and hopefully it'll taste good. As you talk to my cheese. <laughs> And there is my meatball sub. There's a slab of flatbread, meatballs. Mm-hmm.